welcome back in our last lecture i have described the advantage of ions in the scanning microscopy purpose as compared to the electrons today we will see uh, how ions uh, are generated in helium ion microscope uh, let us see first a schematic diagram of scanning ion microscope before we go to talk about the ion source. In a the schematic is not much different as per the arrangement is concerned just the uh, there are certain difference as compared to the scanning electron microscope. Both in case of scanning electron microscope and helium ion microscope we have source or ion gone here that time we are talking about electron gone here we will say ion gone ion gone sitting at the top of the microscope column because it is a ion gone so we have to create ions certainly we should have a particular gas it can be helium it can be neon it can be gallium so imaging gases has to be there which will be ionized and ions will be formed then extractor is there extractor will extract the ions from the tip to create uh, a virtual image of this spot then extractor is there then we have several type of lenses in case of electron microscope we were having electron magnetic lens but remember here in helium ion microscope we do not use any electron magnetic lens all lenses in helium ion microscope are electrostatic in nature because ions are weakly affected by magnetic field as ions are weakly affected by magnetic field we do not use electromagnetic lens rather we use electrostatic lens in helium ion microscope. Then ion beam is coming we use uh, different aperture as before in electron microscope apertures are used to reduce the beam size, change the uh, angle of aperture, uh, use the change the beam current to control all these things we use aperture. Then like scanning electron microscope here also we have deflector coils that would allow you uh, us to scan the ion beam across the surface as a raster manner. Then we have final objective lens and the ion beam will come and strike the surface of this specimen. Once it strikes the surface or incident on this uh, specimen then we have uh, electron detector which is here I S E. We have ion detector that is the backscattered ion detector, BS uh, backscattered ion detector, and we can also have a transmission detector uh, which we may discuss later. So, this is what the typical uh, schematic of uh, the helium ion microscope. Ion uh, uh, have been used in the microscope for a long time for, a, for different purpose, particularly for fabrication purpose that have been used. Uh, in all focused ion beam which is mostly attached with scanning electron microscope uh, there are multiple ions that are used for fabricating the devices or also for uh, uh, exposing the resist uh, forming the pattern drilling the nanopores all these kind of the works the ions have been used uh, in the uh, electron microscope but uh, since uh, 2007 uh, after the discovery of helium ion microscope it has been extensively also used for microscopy purpose in gener generating three dimensional image of the specimen surface. And it has a uh, this source uh, is also called gas field ion source GFIS because here gas is filled that is why it is also termed as gas, gas field ion source. Uh, in uh, the field ion microscope in other type of ion microscope. Uh, from 2007 first uh, commercial in 2007 the commercialization helium ion microscope began after the discovery of uh, uh, a stable uh, tip uh, in 2005 by Alice Corporation. Uh, this is a photograph of helium ion microscope this is second generation helium ion microscope 
then now we have third generation of helium ion microscope that is called Orion Nano 5. Orion Nano 5. Uh, now we have three generation of microscope. First was uh, installed at NIST, and then second, uh, this Orion Plus have been have been installed few places, and the Nano fabric Orion Nano 5 also have been installed a few places. But uh, only one company produced this type of microscope, JAIS, and uh, there is no other competitor at present. And the uh, um, utilization of the ion microscope it has not been uh, very extensive. Uh, we have approximately 100 such ion microscope available worldwide at present, compared to like several thousands of scanning electron microscope available worldwide. And uh, this type of uh, helium ion microscope use a gas filled ionization source uh, for the microscopy purpose. And their resolution now for nano fabrication is also very good in the range of uh, sub micron uh, sub uh, nanometer uh, in the range of around less than 10 nanometer. So, now look at uh, how uh, th this ga gas filled ion, ion source. So, what is that gas filled ion source? Uh, in our scanning electron microscope, we have uh, a tungsten tip, we have several type of electron guns such as uh, thermionic gun, short key. Uh, thermionic gun, then LAB6 gun, lanthanum hexavaride gun, we have field emission gun and we have short key emission gun. We have four different type of electron guns available and here we have gas filled ion source, one type of gun that is used to produce the ions. Uh, like in electron microscopy, we have a tungsten uh, tip is used as a gun, here also we have a tungsten tip mostly, a very sharp tip. Uh, in electron microscope, the tip size of uh, um, field emission gun uh, SEM is around tip size is around 5 nanometer. As compared to that, we, we will see much sharper tip is used here, a very sharp tip is required. The geometry of the tip allow the field strength to be strong enough to ionize the gases. As sharp the tip, uh, much higher field will be accumulated at the tip and thereby could efficiently produce or efficiently ionize the gas atom. If more sharper is the tip, we need less voltage, uh, less applied voltage to create a much higher field strength at the tip of the metal and thereby ionizing the gas atom. And when the tip and the uh, detector or uh, the sample is little bit away from each other, that can be tip can be treated as a point source. And there are uh, uh, some of the important features of the tip it's or, or uh, ion source is that it should be much stable and it should pro produce current with high brightness. Uh, as we know brightness uh, uh, is brightness beta before we have discussed beta is equal to our uh, beam current, beam current which is nothing but signal divided by uh, area area into the solid angle, this is the brightness. And nothing but it is ampere, ampere per centimeter square star radian, this is the brightness. We would like to have a source, ion source which has much higher brightness and much stable. Uh, the problem with the ion source was initially the stability, thereby th that is the one of the reason that helium ion microscope came quite late into the utilization of scientific community. And in uh, ion microscope, we can generate a, uh, from a very atomic sharp tip, we can generate a brightness of around 10 to the power. 9 ampere per centimeter star radian. And there are different ways to produce nano tips. You can uh, deposit atoms at the apex of the tip. You can anneal in presence of electric field, that is what annealing in presence of electric field is presently used uh, in many cases of helium, uh, in helium ion microscope. It can be gas atom, faceted induction reaction 
through gas adsorption, it can be field control chemical agent. There are different ways to produce the tips, but it is one of the primary uh, criteria for getting the best resolution, which is this is not uh, cannot be uh, under uh, user uh, um, uh, role. It should be the company or the manufacturer should produce good tips so that it can uh, give uh, routine um, repeatable results. So, how to form a tip for helium ion microscope? This was discovered in 2005 by Alice, uh, by Alice Corporation, and for that, uh, they took a single crystalline tungsten wire uh, needle. This is around uh, of length, this tungsten wire of is of length around uh, 5 mm. 5 mm and the thickness or dia, dia around 0 0.25 mm, single crystal wire is taken. And then uh, and at the apex of this wire, the apex is around here it is around 30 degree angle, 30 degree angle, this type of tip is taken. And this wire, uh, this ion source or tungsten wire is cooled to near liquid nitrogen temperature we will discuss why we need such a low temperature. Then field evaporation is performed to form a clean faceted pyramid structure or trimer at the tip. So, actually what is done? Uh, this tip uh, is inhaled to a particular temperature and then mild field is applied. When a mild field is applied, that would manipulate the tip cell and by, suited, uh, by taking, uh, by controlling the voltage, temperature one can produce a tip in the shape of uh, a trimer. A trimer means there will be three atoms, there will be three atoms at the tip. In, in this, this will form a triangular, there will be three atoms at the tips. It will be formed at a faceted type of thing, three atoms at the tip. Here what you see here, one, two, three atoms or one here top 1, 2, 3 atoms and below that uh, 3 atoms tip, this next layer has a hexagon, there will be there will be 6 atoms, but actual ionization will occur from these 3 atoms placed at the placed at the verti vertices or at the tip. And when a tip shape is optimized in a, uh, in a this trimer fashion. Now, when we apply the field, then what will happen? Uh, the field will be concentrated at this trimer, at this trimer and producing three ion beamlets. So, three ion beamlets it will produce. When ions or atom helium atoms will come in contact with that atoms they will be ionized and we will get three beamlet of helium ions. And these three beamlets of helium ions, one of these beamlets will be utilized for microscopy purpose and other two will not be. So, we will uh, in, in case of microscopy study, a suitable aperture is used to select one of those beams for coming down the column and incidenting on the specimen surface. And as it is important to note that if, if we apply more field to the tip, what will happen? This atom will be evaporated, this atom will be evaporated. And once atom will be evaporated, then automatically another trimer will form. The condition is applied in a manner that another trimer will uh, be formed. So, another trimer will again starts on producing the constant beamlet. So, automatic facetting of trimer occurs uh, in the tip that is what developed by Alice Corporation. So, that discovery led to the uh, commercial production of helium ion microscope and it was one of the main challenges in the formation of the tip in the initial days. Then how to create helium ion beam from the tip? 
in presence of high electric field, the outermost electron of the helium atom can tunnel out producing an uh, ion. So, what will happen? Now, we have three atoms, uh, three tungsten atoms, let us say, three tungsten atoms at the tip. Now, when gases cause, what will happen when gas come in contact and at those atoms, we have maximum field, maximum field and therefore, when a gaseous atom come in contact with those atom, they will be ionized. So, actually they will form a disk of field, they will form as a disk of field and when a helium atom come in contact with that field disk, it will uh, lose an electron and that electron will tunnel into the uh, tip, metal tip producing a helium uh, ion. Now, this metal tip is applied with a positive potential, it is around let us say uh, it can be max, um, uh, 5 kV to like 35 kV with a ground here 0 volt. So, because it is now positive, positively ion, so it will be by application of the field it will come down because we are applying a positive potential here. So, helium ions will come down the column and that would be utilized for our microscopy purpose. The positively charged gas atom is accelerated by the applied field and a continuous stream of beam is created, a continuous stream of beam is created and the tip temperature should be optimum for efficient creation of the helium ions. Now, if the tip temperature uh, is uh, very low, then the helium atoms uh, will move, uh, will become immobile they will not mop. On the other hand, uh, if the tip temperature will be higher, uh, then what will happen? Uh, if the tip temperature will be higher, then uh, they will have a much higher kinetic energy and they would not uh, appropriately uh, come in contact with the uh, tip atom of the tip region, at the tip region. Okay. So, now if uh, during the tip formation, uh, if there is some uh, edges or some other atoms are there as, uh, which are uh, uh, not strongly bound at the tip surface, they automatically get evaporated and go out and in, in the formation of this trimer type of tips. So, unlike uh, that uh, unlike we have uh, seen in the scanning electron microscope, our tip size is around uh, uh, around uh, 5 nanometer in case of SEM. In case of SEM or let us say field emission SEM called field emission SEM, uh, tip size is in this case is around 5 nanometer or approximately 5 nanometer. In this case, we have th only 3 atoms as you see much smaller tip size and therefore, beam will be much finer in this case. And then advantage of helium ion source developed by Alice, the pressure of the imaging gases can modul modulate the beam current, pressure of the uh, imaging gases can modulate the beam current for routine operation uh, beam current of 1 pico ampere or less is good enough, but it can modulate the current in the range of a uh, femto ampere, femto ampere to the range of around uh, 50 pico ampere or larger with by by modulating the imaging gases gas pressure. So, we can change the current with a much larger uh, range using a helium ion source as compared to the electron microscope uh, scanning electron microscope and the virtual source size because we use only trimer 3 atoms at the tip, this ion source will be remarkably small. Moreover, the diffraction effect of helium ion beam is also uh, very negligible or very low. Cryogenic cooling, we have this, uh, I have told that uh, before the this gas field ionization source must be cooled to a steady temperature between 60 to 90 Kelvin, 
very 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 low temperature it should be uh, it should be uh, uh, placed and the reason is that uh, the tip has to be highly stable first thing we are uh, producing the beam from a very fine tip so any temperature there will make thermal moments of the tip which is not acceptable so it has to be fast therefore it has to be cold and if it is high temperature uh, the tip is at little high temperature then what will do it will also not uh, ionize uh, the uh, these atoms will not come in contact with the ionizing disks in efficient manner to produce uh, the uh, beams of ions uh, beam of the ion so this is another reason so the tip therefore the ion, uh, gas field ionization source must be cooled to a steady temperature uh, which is below the um, liquid nitrogen temperature and uh, in addition to that experiments showed that increase in emission uh, em emission current with decrease in temperature emission current is decreases with increase in temperature so for uh, for every every 1 kelvin decrease in temperature for every 1 kelvin decrease in temperature uh, there will be a uh, 5 percent increase in current 5 percent increase in current increase in em em emission current with uh, 1 kelvin decrease in temperature so this is another uh, important point to note the cold temperature further facilitated gaseous atoms to be collected at the tip surface that they get ionized so it is another point and cooling is done by integrating a gas field ionization gun with the liquid nitrogen tower through a uh, cold finger so here we we see how it is cooling is done uh, it is um, this is our heat load heat load which comes from here and liquid nitrogen is coming from a supply tank liquid nitrogen coming here and this is connected to the pump uh, we have a pressure gauge inside this uh, cryogenic cooling system uh, we have uh, uh, many way of uh, cooling system but such as like uh, Joule Thompson uh, Gifford McMahon and also we have also um, uh, pulse tube cooling um, process are available uh, initial days helium ion microscope was using the the pulse uh, um, uh, tube cooler which operated in a manner of active and quiet manner uh, but uh, in present day helium ion microscope that means uh, in the uh, second and third generation helium ion microscope we are using uh, liquid nitrogen and uh, solid uh, nitrogen cooling system uh, to or oh, cool, uh, cool the tip or source tip. So here, uh, the load uh, it is a jacket, and uh, the region one of the important region here uh, uh, we have a liquid nitrogen uh, have a 77 Kelvin. Liquid nitrogen we know 77 Kelvin, but our uh, tip uh, has to be in that same order of cooling uh, for uh, efficient uh, operation of the gas field ionization source. And if we use the liquid uh, nitrogen, liquid nitrogen uh, will be boiling and producing lot of vibration. It will be boiling and producing lot of vibration. Therefore, simple liquid nitrogen cannot be used for cooling purpose. So, therefore, they must be solidified. The liquid nitrogen must be solidified and when it is solidified, the temperature goes down. And when temperature goes down uh, uh, for a solid liquid nitrogen, temperature goes down to around 60 Kelvin. Then using that solid uh, nitrogen we can cool the tip to a range of 75 to 80 kelvin so uh, if we look at the, um, uh, the uh, phase diagram of nitrogen we know that means uh, let's say it is uh, temperature pressure uh, here it will be solid gas this is our triple point this is our triple point so 
at this point this is this is at a pressure this is our pressure this pressure is around 0 0.12 bar below this pressure below this pressure um, we have a solid now it can be like say let us say uh, in normal cases atmospheric cases cases air can go to a 1 gas and in other cases in below a certain pressure of 0.12 bar solid can go directly to the gaseous phase. If we operate directly the solid uh, at atmospheric pressure if we, uh, op, if we, we, if we use the uh, solid nitrogen at the atmospheric pressure then it will be converted to the liquid and then to gases and when it converted from solid to liquid and liquid to gas the liquid will be boiling and that would create a lot of vibration and that vibration is cannot be accommodated for the ion source. Therefore, uh, therefore this is, this is the vacuum pump it will evacuate to a pressure it will form the solid and then the heat load will directly go to change the solid solid gas to the solid to solid nitrogen solid nitrogen to the gas nitrogen and in this direct conversion sublimation there will be no vibration there will be no vibration moreover uh, and this will be temperature like uh, here uh, triple point uh, for example here the temperature will be around oh, 77 kelvin and here uh, at um, at a triple point we have a temperature about uh, 50 or around something like 63 uh, Kelvin 63 Kelvin. So, by using the solid nitrogen uh, we can achieve a temperature of around 75 Kelvin at the uh, uh, ion gun source. Thus, in the uh, helium ion microscopy microscope purpose the source is cool to solid nitrogen temperature uh, solid nitrogen is used for cooling purpose. Choice of imaging gases another important feature is the imaging gases what type of gases to be used for producing the ions three important points to be noted it should be it should not be reactive it uh, not reactive should not be reactive. not reactive to the either to the sample or to the source moreover it should not produce any compounds either with the source tip or with the sample. So, this is an important parameter as light as possible if it is not very light it is heavier then it will do the damage to the sample it will do the damage to the sample. <coughs> In addition if uh, if it is light it can penetrate little larger depth when it penetrate into larger depth. Uh, if it penetrate to the larger depth in case of ions because the recoil effect is less. So, signal will not be coming from the depth signal rather will be coming only from the surface therefore, it is suitable for microscopy purpose. Then third point is important point which is the ionization potential. Though mostly helium and neons are used for uh, for the imaging uh, for helium is used for the microscopy purpose and neon and other gases also be used for uh, uh, fabrication type of studies. Uh, they have as you see they have much higher uh, ionization potential as compared to other gases as compared to other gases. Uh, in most cases even though we take helium or neon there will be trace level or in parts per million level of contaminants contaminant gas and if those contaminants gases is present in the imaging uh, present in the um, along with helium or neon then they will get fast ionized let us say oxygen uh, uh, water these are um, nitrogen these are more reactive in nature. So, before before uh, our helium and neon being ionized these uh, other uh, other impurities or contaminants will get ionized and they will uh, be impacting to the uh, to the performance of the microscopy purpose. Uh, essentially. Uh, oxygen um, and nitrogen can uh, react with the surface atom of the specimen and also it can also change the shape of the tip 
because if they react with the tip, tip uh, tungsten it will form oxide and so th those will uh, again change the field distribution and also emission current, beam current etcetera. So, those will affect substantially uh, for, uh, uh, for the performance of the microscope. Then gas delivery system, the imaging gas needs to be delivered to the emitter with minimum contaminants that is what we have discussed to preserve the trimer. So, it has to be uh, contaminants to uh, should be uh, avoided as much as possible. A single contaminated ad items adsorbed at the tip can result in the erratic emission. So, high quality, high quality research grade gas should be used. Uh, research grade gas should be used that that should have a contaminant uh, even, even the research grade gas have contaminants PPPM M level and that can affect the emitter therefore, they can be further purified. So, helium ion microscopy instrument incorporate active chemical purifier uh, to the research grade uh, gases and that gas delivery is controlled by the UHP chamber and because uh, the, the pressure of the gases will again determine the beam current etcetera. So, these are the important points. Uh, to, to be considered for the microscopy purpose. Then we have a vacuum system, we have uh, several uh, vacuum uh, pumps are there, uh, particularly uh, we have mechanical pump, we have turbo pump, we have uh, ion gator pump, these are the different pumps there and the vacuum level is different like in the chamber. Uh, in case of uh, scanning electron microscope, uh, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, in this pressure is in the range of 10 to the power minus uh, uh, 5 to minus 12 in case of sc uh, scanning electron microscope as you see it is little better pressure. Moreover, the pressure at the uh, gas field ionization source, this pressure will be approximately 10 to the minus 13 torr, very high, high vacuum. But when this is the best pressure, then when gases are allowed into that uh, chamber, the pressure will uh, become higher. Uh, then we have a cryogen, so, then we have a gallium column, in, it is a dual beam column. Uh, we can have um, uh, multiple uh, multiple uh, gases uh, uh, can be used for different purpose. So, different type of vacuum systems are used, we will see later these things. Uh, the gun performance, we will discuss you know, what are the performance in the next class, next lecture. Uh, some of the important points of the uh, gas field uh, ionization source is that and, uh, are like uh, optical column for the gas field ionization source allow. Uh, covering of the optimal focusing of the range of the prop currents. So, the uh, optical column should allow to optimal focusing and uh, electrostatic blanker is also used to control the beam exposure duration. The, the column should be mechanic uh, should be immune to the mechanical vibration and the entire column should because uh, resides on the high ultra high vacuum. So, in conclusion what we have uh, seen in today lecture or in last two lectures is that Ions as a source have several advantages as then th then that of electrons. In particular, ions have a smaller wavelength. It has reduced vibration, uh, reduced aberration. Sorry, it has reduced aberration, and that lead to high resolution and large depth of field. The fabrication of the gun with sharp tip having trimer at this tip is important for the stability and stable emission. Uh, the gun is placed at the low temperature and very high vacuum level. Appropriate ionization gases should be chosen for the microscopy or fabrication process. And these are the references, these are two books, you can look at it and thank you.